Okay, I'm going to go over uh, the last test here. So let's get going. Now, choose a group with all the prisms. So if we go through here, let's look at the red marker here. This is two dimensional, so that's not one. This here, oh, and this is the one. Remember, the prism says pretty much think about it as the same from top to bottom. Same side, same side, same width, top to bottom. So those are out. Here, that's a pyramid, so that's out. So therefore, our answer is right here. Because we tip these on the end, we could go up them all the way. I know the very first day we said that really wasn't a, a prism, but for the sake of right now, um, it is. I'm going to say right now, it is a prism, but it's not the most clear prism of all. Now, for example of measurements, all I was looking for was a type of measurement. So this one could have been like centimeters cubed. No problem. Centimeters cubed. But what happened there? Centimeters cubed, or it could have been milliliters, liters, etc. Perimeter. I was just looking for something like perimeter. Centimeters, miles, kilometers, millimeters. An area? No. Centimeters squared. Pretty much anything above squared would have been fine. So, perimeter, the garden is fenced below, except for a two millimeter, two meter walkway. So, this is how I'd set it up. I would start here and work my way all the way around. And I actually do this again and then take off the 2.2 .2 after. So if I'm going to do that, I go 3 plus 3.1 plus 6.2 plus 8 plus 6.2 again. So what I've done here is I've taken this measurement plus this measurement plus this. I'm going around the circle. That's how I personally do it. There's no right or wrong way as long as you get them all. Plus 3.1 plus 3. I'm going to go across the whole way. So that's a 3.1. So I'm just cutting it across here. I include this, this, and this. So it's going to be plus 8 plus 3.1. So that's all the way across. I'm going to take away the 2.2. .2. So my answer at the end is 44.6. So now here, I have a volume question. So just look at my formula sheet. I know my volume equals here is length times base times width. So that's going to equal, let me move this down a little bit, 10 times 8 times 6. Oh, I forgot something. Because it's a pyramid, we're going to divide this by 3. And I will do the same here. Let's see if it gives me my answer. Boom, 160. So 10 times 8 times 6 divided by 3, because we have a pyramid here. Now this one here, we have a cylinder. So volume equals pi r squared, which is area of the base, times the height. Just like this one is length times width times height. So length times width times the height. Area of the base times the height. This one here, area of the base is pi. So I'm going to write 3.14. Oops. 14 times the radius squared times the height. So there's my formula. Now here, we have to remember, this is the diameter. So we go 7 divided by 2 is going to equal my radius. So volume equals 3.14. And I can't do squared on this, so I'm just going to times it twice. Oops. 3.4, 3.5 times 3.5 times 10. So we're at 385. So if we were rounding like I asked you to, we're at 385. And that would be centimeters cubed there. Centimeters cubed, and this would be inches cubed.
So the diagram below is made up of three squares on the side of the tri side of the right triangle. What is the area of the shaded area? Okay, so if we remember Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So c squared minus b a squared will equal this. But we don't know this right now, so let's figure it out. So it's eight that way. So that's going to be eight times eight equals. All right. So in that square, for lack of a better term, is 64. So then, we know it's this minus this. So we're going to go 289, oops, 289 minus 64 equals 225. So that is my answer. That box is going to be 225. Now here, the key here, we just have to solve for p. So let's recognize that this here is actually my hypotenuse, therefore my c value. This could be a or b, doesn't matter. Or we can draw our boxes, whichever works best for you. If I drew my box here, get out of here, this would be 7 times 7 is 49. This would be 100. These add up to here that line. Oops, wrong line. We add this, so this is going to be 100 plus 49. So in here is. 149, and then we can take the square root of that number to get this side. And the square root of that number is 12. So 12.2, but we're running the whole numbers. So that's going to be that side. So I have 200 meters of fence for my dog Chewbarka. I love that name. I want to maximize the area. So if we remember, whatever we have here, 200. We divide by 4 for this shape. We divide by 2 for this shape. And for this shape, we're going to divide by 2 for the widths, and then times that number by 2 for the length. So right here, divide that by 4. It's going to be 50 by 50 by 50. Divide by 2 is going to be 100 by 100. And we already divided by so that should say divide by 4. That should say divide by 4 instead. So we already did that. So we know this is 50. And this is 50. Therefore, this is going to be 100. So we take 50 and 50 and double it. Okay. So application here. So Emma goes out and gets an ice cream at the, in the following shape. How much ice cream does she receive? Okay, so we have to recognize that we have two shapes here. We have a half a sphere, and remember this is three-dimensional, has the shapes drawn, and we have a cone. I should have drawn that cone over here. So we have a cone. So let's work with this one first. So the all the way across is 12. That's the diameter. Let's work with the radius. The radius here is going to equal 6. It's half. Now the formula for volume is 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. So let's type that in. Now I don't have a cube button on my calculator here. So I'm going to go 4 times 3.14 times, and we're going to cube 6. So that's going to be 6 times 6 times 6, and we're going to all divide that by 3. Oops, oh, sugar. Let's space that here. It'll do the whole calculation for me. Good, but we have half of it. So that's going to be 904 divided by 2 is actually going to give us our number. Okay, since we only have half of that. Now let's figure out what we have here. 
Oh, sorry, that's a cone. What we have to recognize though is we do not have the height. We don't know what that is. What we have here is the slant of 25. So we need the height. So we take a look at the calculation here. Oops, that's this is 25, this is going to be 6, so if we draw our boxes, that's going to be 36, 25 squared, I want to say 625, but I want to make sure, that's 625. So therefore we're looking for this, and this here is 625, we have our hypotenuse 625, minus 36, which is 589, 589, we take the square root of 589, I do believe it's 24.2, uh, square root of 24.3, let's just make it 24. So now we know that is 24. So now we can run with our formula for volume equals pi r squared, oops, squared times h divided by 3 since we have a cone. So let's type that in. So equals pi, so 3.14 times r squared, so it's going to be 6 times 6 times the height, which is now we know is 24, divided by 3. Now if I have that attachment work, so that equals 904. Funny enough, and since we're whole, dealing with whole numbers, so then to get our final answer, we go 904 plus 452, which equals that much ice cream, which is amazing because that is 1.3 liters of ice cream, 1.4 liters. So congratulations, Emma, that is a huge ice cream cone. All right. So Ethan said, decided to watch MLB playoffs, and I'm currently, it's 4-2 to two for the Astros over the Yankees in mid-eighth inning on game six, just for Ethan's uh, update. So you decided to purchase a huge TV to watch the game on. You get it through the front door, you must lean it diagonally. Um, so that's here. That's along this line right here. Well, he get his TV through the door, we'll have to return it. Okay. Well, we know his TV's 212 long. So this is going to have to be at least 212 long. And if you look, we have a triangle. So we can do our Pythagorean theorem. These are going to be some big O numbers. So let's go 209 squared first. That's going to give me, I'm going to type it so it's a little bit neater. 43681. Then 82 squared is equal to. 6, 7, 2, 4. So to find this one, we're going to minus off here. Or sorry, we're going to add those two together. So 4, 3, 6, 8, 1, plus 6, 7, 2, 4 equals that big number. So that is, it goes in there. So then to get that, we need to take the Square root of that number. So, and so let's plug that in my calculator. Square root of 5, 0, 4, 0, 5. Equals 225 to 26. 225. So we know now that this equals 225, which is good news for Ethan since 225 is greater. All right, so 225 minus 212 
equals, is just 13 centimeters difference. And justifying my answer would be like drawing these diagrams and talking it through. Oh, this is a beauty question. So the diagram shows the writing track at a high school. It consists of two parallel line segments and a semicircle. So, and the track is 10 meters wide. So Kayla, let's work with Kayla first. Kayla runs the inside track. Emily runs the outside track. How much further does Emily run in one lap than Kayla? Now, I think it was Victoria who did a great job here. Someone did a great job and recognized since they're both going to run this distance here and here, we don't actually have to include it in our calculation because they both run the exact same 100 meters. The only thing that's going to differ is this semicircle on the outside. So the radius of Kayla's semicircle is 64. So if we look at circumference, because that's what we're looking at, how far they're running, it's pi r. So 64 times 3.14, which equals 198, approximately. Correct? Yep. Oh, 64. I wrote 63 for some reason. There we go. So 201. So then, if I think about Emily, now they said the track was 10 meters wide. So that means this is 10 meters, and this is 10 meters. So her new radius is going to be 64 plus 10 plus 10, which equals 84. So if we look at circumference, it equals 84 times... 3.14, oops, I have these equal signs here, they don't work, equals 264. So the question is how much further? Well, I go 264 minus 201, 63 meters further. That's why you always see in track meets, the people always running around the inside track because you're going to run less. So. Let's take a look here. So, cones here. Class discovery takes one cone to fill that up, two cones to fill this up, and three cones to fill this up. So how many cones do we need to fill this up? Well, we have a cylinder. So if we look here, a cylinder was three. We have a half sphere, right? So it's a half, we're gonna go two, we're gonna divide it by two. So that's gonna equal one to fill that up. So the difference here is gonna be three plus one, which equals four, right? Show your thinking would be all my stuff in blue here. Okay. This is showing what I'm thinking. I'm just not writing down a number, I'm showing what I'm thinking. So this question um, was the perfect question for what I wanted because it combined what we did in the first unit, or maybe the second unit, with what we're doing now. So you have two choices of pizza. Uh, which is a better choice? So let's take a look here. Now this here, see so if you have 26 and 26, you can't just add those together to get a, um, a diameter of, what, 52, right? You have to treat them each independently. So let's look at the small ones first. So my radius here is 26 divided by 2, which equals 13. So now I'm looking for area. So my area equals pi r squared, which is going to equal, let's write it down here, 3.14 times 13 times 13 equals this number, so 531. Now we have two pizzas. So 531 times 2, which is that much pizza. There's a 1,062 centimeters squared. Now let's look at this one. 
this one here, we have to find the radius. So 35 divided by 2 is 17.5. Good. Now, we have area is pi, 3.14, times radius squared. So I'm going to type in twice. So about 962. Now if you ended your question here, you would think that this looks like a better price. You get more pizza, you pay a little more. But we need the unit rate. So how much pizza do you get for every dollar, every cent? So therefore we're going to take this number now. One, zero, sorry. We're going to take the price and divide it by how big it is. So 12.99, because you, it's like price per whatever you're buying. Like you don't say I bought cans for one can per 52 cents. You say 52 cents per can. So 1062 equals that number. Okay. 12.99. Then 8.49. 8.49 divided by 962 equals, okay. So which number is smaller here? Because that's the best one. So this one is 0 0.0088. This is 0 0.012. So then my answer is right here. There is my better choice. Okay, because this number is smaller than this larger number. All right? So my choice here is a large pizza. Okay? And on my pizza, what I like is two choices. One is barbecue sauce instead of pizza sauce plus pineapple, bacon, feta. Choice two is spicy Thai sauce. Oops. The E in there. Spicy Thai sauce with chicken and broccoli. Those are two wonderful pizzas. Okay, hopefully that helped you going over it. Have a great evening.